And uh, we're back, listeners. Uh, sorry about that horrible echo before. We were having a uh, few technical difficulties. But I think they've been uh, resolved now. Uh, so I'd like to give the, the, the attention back to uh, the tower. Yes. Welcome back, gentle listeners. Uh, last, where we left off the heroes, they were uh, invited to a vic celebratory banquet in honor of the great victory that they had scored uh, against uh, the fiendish fae. However, considering, considering that was before we had two new characters joining, I would like to do a short flashback scene to introduce at least one character to the, to the festivities. Dries, can can somebody make the flashback sound effect? <laughs> no. Hold on. <laughs> let me let me see if I can pull it up. Give me a sec. <laughs> pull we'll it edit up. that one in. No, later. just make it with your mouth. <laughs> you know, like the Batman sound, I think. I don't know how it, it goes. Like like woo <laughs> or something. It's not very good. Carry on. <laughs> It's a bit before. Okay. Another a new ship arrives in the harbor of Charoskiro, uh, gliding in between the the, the glass uh, breakwaters. I think those things are called, and mm -hmm. lodging and lodging the ship uh, at the, the harbor. Hmm. Uh, at the harbormen's uh, uh, sorry, at the harbor. From it steps a steps a certain woman that looks around at uh, at this new and exciting place filled with all manner of interesting adventures. You are sure, aren't you, Sayala? Yes, yes, I am. And you That's have a brochure. present for the people of Chaoskuro, don't you? Indeed, I do. Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed, you have caught a fiend. And he's now here, and you're now going to deliver him to justice, mm -hmm. to the local authorities. Now, of course, the first um, people are starting to crowd around you, and are and with all manner of trinkets and talismans, and are going, Ah, Effendi, ah, beautiful lady, we have many things that you require. We have here talismans of great potence to guide you, to uh, guide, safeguard you from evil ghosts. Only two shackle. Okie dokie. Yes. Ah, oh, no, 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 do not listen to this son of a goat. His talents are fair, are not as powerful as those of mine. I had a, I've had a true traumaturg, traumaturgs create these wonderful uh, um, jewelry. They will look so beautiful with your eyes and will protect your soul from ravishments. Uh, yes, <clears throat> I yes, just ignored him. <laughs> Ignore him and push past him. Okay. I just right. tell them, man, bring out a prisoner. <laughs> okay, there's a bit of a uh, disturbance below, and I'm going to roll something. I'm going to roll a secret roll. I love having fate dice with me. And I'm oh, missing. Yeah. You have real fudge dice, uh, Tawa? I made them. <laughs> so you got like a, an ordinary D6 and you, you, you like draw a, a couple of pluses and minuses on them? <laughs> perhaps, perhaps not. <laughs> Alright. Alright, well the prisoner uh, arrives, uh, is being led up. Um, what you see is, what was he again? Ah yes, he's a um, slender young man of about 22 years of age, who has a, he's got orange, orange hair with white, t with white endings, and a, a nice, a big smile and a, f and a flashing eyes. He is currently uh, untied. He is currently uh, not tied up, and he strides down the the, the, the woodwork, the plank, and just follows in your wake. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I turn to the uh, towards the people and I ask them, where can I find the nearest uh, authority building? Uh, they look at you and go, <clears throat> Ah, Effendi, uh, it, that would be the Imperial Barracks. For, on, uh, for only one piece of silver, my cousin will bring you there. We are find the fastest route. No, 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 don't go with him. Uh, my nephew is much faster and knows a shortcut. For only two silvers, you can go there even faster. <sighs> Your prisoner actually leans in and goes, um, actually, I know the way. He's gagged. <laughs> He's not. Or... He's not. not. Nope. He grins at you. He ate Who it. removed his gag? <laughs> <laughs> he ate it. Oh, oh, don't worry about that. I mean, after all, I could, if I had a gag on, I could not tell you where to go. Hmm. Hey, you've caught me. I'm a man of honor. I must go with you to the to the to the right authorities. What are you up to? Do I look like I'm up to something? Yes. Well, why don't because you tell me that what tongue, I'm? Because that tongue of yours can do more damage than a sword. Really? Hmm. I thought that would be flattering. <laughs> well, of course now, are you going to stand here all day, or are you going to take me to my just and to my just destiny? Yes, I should. <laughs> all right. Now, how are you going to get to the authorities? Good question. You've got three guides to choose from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. I would choose secret option number four. Yes, I found it myself. <laughs> You're an exalt. You can do whatever you want. Uh, I do, yes, I just choose one of those guys. Uh, okay, you show me the way. Ah, thank you, Effendi, thank you. And they, um, of course, they ask for a bit of silver, and then one of the little guys is uh, one of the local people, uh, local people's sons or niece or uh, cousin or whatever, is uh, taking you by the hand along to the um, uh, along through the streets. The streets are crowded and busy, and there's uh, you're going by some market stall, and you notice that the kid there slows down a little bit to give you ample time to look at certain um, at certain at the stalls if you would be interested. <laughs> Meanwhile, your prisoner is. Just smiling, or smiling at everyone, and smiling, or smiling at everyone, and walking along as though he's your uh, friend. Don't get too comfortable, Paco. <laughs> yep, you're going to bring the hurt down on him. I already brought the hurt down on him. Yes, and he felt it. Mm hmm. Okay. And after all, they, you uh, arrive at Imperial Barracks. <coughs> uh, mm -hmm. At Imperial Barracks. And uh, oh. the Imperial Barracks are a, um, a block in the, in the city that are, well, is fortified. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's basically a fortress where the uh, Imperial soldiers come to rest and, and to, to rest and train a lot. So yes, this is the bulwark of Creation's Defenders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are two guards standing by. Of course, there are uh, two guards standing at attention in the middle of the sun um, uh, by the gate. Mm -hmm. Yes. I walk to. I walk up towards them. Mm -hmm. And I ask them, where is your commanding officer? I have a prisoner for him. Why do I talk with an English accent? 
<laughs> the, the the soldiers just look at you, look at your prisoner who smiles, who smiles at them, and they go and they first and the first question that they ask is, <clears throat> excuse me, ma'am, but may we have your name? My name is Sayala Dainas. That's all. It, that's the only thing you need to know. <laughs> Very well, Sayala Dainas. And what is the name? Uh, what is the name of your prisoner? Believe it or not, but I lost a paper where I written all this stuff down. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, uh, uh, your prisoner stri uh, strides forward and says proudly, "I." Uh, I'm a member of house. I'm a member of house. Ka fuck. <sighs> and the and the soldiers go. Ah, ma'am, yeah. you must. Re I suggest you report to um, to. He looks around that tower there. Hmm. I take a look at that tower. Um, it's a huge glass tower. It is by far the tallest thing you've ever seen. I mean, it was impressive just sailing. It was impressive sailing in, but now that you're on the ground and looking at it, you see a huge triangular tower that that goes up, 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 and seems as to try to stab into the uh, stab into the clouds themselves, made of pure glass. I see, stabby, eh? Yes, it's actually just across the road. Mm. <laughs> totally not a phallic symbol. <laughs> Every tower is a symbol. <laughs> <clears throat> that might be, but this man has uh, permitted, uh, committed some crimes, and he is should be brought. Uh, in front of the proper authorities, not with his relatives or whatever that house is. Ah, <laughs> um, <laughs> he says, "I can't, uh, I can't accept your prisoner, ma'am. I'm, we're not authorized." Mm -hmm. Oh, me, lamb. Mere mortals aren't uh, allowed to deal with exalted. <laughs> <laughs> no, the dragon, a dragon blooded, can say, "I'll take your firstborn now," and the mortal can say, can only say, "Yes, ma'am." Yeah. You want him dead or alive or something similar? <laughs> so He's yes. So gonna get off with like a, a, a maybe a a, a uh, l light slap on the shoe. Or <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. Where? Are you? No, but I'm actually serious. I wrote all of this stuff down yes, during yes, the introduction yes. session, and now I lost it. <laughs> it's fine. I'm, I'll guide you through along. Now, um, the guards seem unwilling to take the prisoner off your hands. What? <clears throat> Showing you a tower which they did not name. Mm -hmm. As the proper place for him to be taken to. Okay, then fetch me your superior right now. Okay, uh, you hear somebody uh, behind you grinning, and the soldiers <laughs> are, just, um, <laughs> are f again. They have they stand still for a moment. And then you see their eyes shifting to the to the person uh, behind you, and then one of them actually um, um, uh, kicks the wall and and goes Ezra, do as she tells. And a third soldier, which you did not see, is um, stepping out of one of the nearby buildings, uh, the building behind the uh, wall, and is running towards the uh, running inside of the complex. Mm-hmm. Can you tell what just happened? Not really. Okay, cool. cool. Now, after a while, um, the the soldier and the the, the 
message soldier returns and bids you to come uh, to come along inside. <laughs> and you're just being guided along to uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, one of the nondescript buildings of the of the barracks. And uh, inside is a room which is uh, spartanly refurbished with just a few um, actually. With just a stool and a table, a few stools and a table, and maps on the walls, lots and lots of maps. Mm -hmm. Behind the chair, sorry, <laughs> behind the the desk or the table is a big burly man. Uh, actually, he would have been big if he had exceeded the six foot, but his shoulders are at least four foot wide. He's wearing heavy white armor, uh, heavy white jade armor, and there is a big big old hammer uh, uh, leaning against the wall with an easy reach. He's got a, he's got a big walrus mustache and he looks looks at you and greets you. Welcome to the bear. welcome to the Imperial Legion. And he motions at two stools that have been uh, set out. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And I've completely forgotten. Oh wait, I've forgotten his name. Ah, um, ah, here it is. <clears throat> My name is Regara Maka. No, it's not him. Who did you expect? I thought it was Seizu. Uh, wait, what's his name? Oh, oh wait. Yes. Uh, it was, Th that well, guy we gave good. that banner to. Hold, hold on, yes, let me um, let me look at my notes. Uh, I think it was a Seizu something. Seizu Makesa, is that it? Ah, Seizu Makesa, that's it. I yeah. can't read my own. <laughs> <laughs> now I know yeah, your characters better than you do. <laughs> and that's a good thing. Now, Seizu Makesa. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll take he, a seat. He frowns at that. Mm hmm? What, didn't he offer the seat? Mm-hmm. How oh, dare you take me oh. up on my offer! That was a trick! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Psychological test. Your, your, <laughs> your best friend uh, bows to the Seizus and says, Greetings, se Seizus Makusa. I am Kaf I am um uh what was the middle name again? Damn it. I am. No. I can't remember because I lost all my goddamn Garfield <laughs> um, Kafinkel Rumpelstiltskin. Not that. <laughs> Kafak Sai um Neymari. Neymari. The fuck? Ah greetings. Uh, greetings, Kafaksan. And he bows again, and he says, "Welcome to my little ho uh, office." And I'm ashamed that it has not, that it has so little to accommodate you. Yeah. But to which the American, "Oh no, 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 no! It is fine. It is I must apologize for intruding upon you in so on such short notice. I hope you can con con can forgive my rudeness." And they just start, you know, bantering with each other in this manner. Mm. Politics. Yes, indeed. After a while, the sales goes very well. Well, we have a banquet to go to, so let. So I would like. Uh, so I'd like you to keep things short, if that's not a problem. What is the matter here? Okay, I stand up again, uh, mm -hmm. grab Kafak by his collar, push him mm -hmm. forward and place some papers on the table and say from these are the charges that he has been charged with. Primes. Okay, it's time. It. Hmm? It's time for an empty uh, roll. Uh, no, wait, just a moment. And the Kafak goes, yes, and along with these papers, I would like to present to uh, to the uh, to the gathering a lost egg. And now you may roll an empty test. Oh no! Empty. Oh yes. Ah, oh, poor. What the fuck? You have no idea okay. what's going on. You can tell. You can tell by the look of the Caesars that 
he is interested in you suddenly. Very interested. In what the lost egg? In you. <laughs> You're the lost egg. <coughs> mm. Now he takes up the papers and then uh, go and looks them through. Hmm. 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 Okay, and he looks at the kafak, and the kafak is looking at, giving him a meaningful look. I, I should see buy if... hold him and gag him. <laughs> Why don't you just put him, why don't you just lop off his head while you're at it? Yes, I shall. Ooh. If, huh. I see. This should this should be brought to the uh, attention of the mayor. Uh, you, you see him looking at your friend. Master of House Kafak. He should be informed of your wrongdoing. He is not very... Um, pleased with, he will not be very pleased <laughs> with all this uh, shenanigans, and he will be severely punished. Shenanigans. <laughs> Why do I have a feeling you're just explaining this like you just, you know, cut a kid stealing some candy? <laughs> yeah, I, I do not know just why you think you. such a why you think such a thing justice must be served yes since he's, <laughs> he's your <clears throat> prisoner I suggest you head to the tower and he points you in the direction of the glass the triangular glass tower I know I meant I uh, uh, the guards also point you at Mm, why do I have a sudden urge to put him back on my ship and let him crawl in my city? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yes. Yes. Uh, thank you for your time. And I'll grab that rest time. Nemari, yes. if I'm not mistaken. Yes, indeed. And I'll just shove him out of the door. Okay. Where do you take him? To that glass tower. All right, that glass tower. Actually, yes, there's quite a bit of a um, there's quite a bit of to do happening at the glass tower. First of all, this glass tower is. About as about the, the circumference is about the size of a city block, half a city block. It is a big thing, big old thing. As far as you can tell, it is made out of a single piece of glass that is uh, glittering in the sun. It must be as hot as an oven inside. But that's not really. But and it has huge gates which are opened, probably to ventilate. Which reminds you, you don't see any open windows, so yeah, mm -hmm. people are going to uh, boil to death inside. And uh, in front of the gates are uh, f four soldiers dressed very, f uh, four soldiers dressed very finely. And the ones on the left are dressed in a in a sort of green uniform which you do not recognize, and those on the right are dressed in a red uniform that you do not recognize. And before you is a you is a um, long line of noted of people in of handsome pe handsome and strong people in kimonos making their way to the uh, through the uh, through the open doors mm -hmm. yes are you going to burst onto the scene yes <laughs> okay Right, you burst into the into, into the scene. Uh, some people try to stop you, but after again looking over your shoulder, they uh, let you pass until the very last guards by the gate. You skip the line. Of course. Of course, justice cannot wait. But these guards actually do stop you and say, "Halt! In the name of the Empire, what is the meaning of this?" Uh, 
I say the same thing again uh, from this guy has committed crimes. I'm here to bring him to justice. Mm -hmm. And to which Nimari uh, question ask, I see that there is a there's a there is something going. I see that there is that are festivities planned, are they not? Why, yes, my lord, they are. Oh. Mm. <laughs> and, who has, and who is attending? Well, all all the dragon blood, uh, all uh, all the dynast and the dragon blood are attending, sir. Really? Every every dragon blood has been invited. Yes, sir. And a lot of commoners ah. for some reason. <laughs> oh, important common important people. Ah, and in what honor is this? Are these festivities? Ah, the Empire has gloriously saved the day by uh, by heroically thwarting a fair folk invasion in our fair city. Ah, I see. And it's and where is where is this party being held? Ah, uh, it it who is held on the thirty and uh, yes thirty <coughs> second floor, sir. Very well. You may proceed. Mm. And the Mar just enters. What? He just enters? Yes, he enters because the guards let him through. And he looks at you and um, smiles, waiting for you to uh, catch up. I'm cracking my knuckles right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <clears throat> I go in there as well. Oh, there's a, I just spotted a typo. Okay. Okay, um, let's see, go in idea. Well, you are swept up in the, uh, in the rush, you are swept up in a colorful, a colorful procession of all manner of handsome, strong people and in glorious kimonos. And you, both of you, with the traveling dust still upon you, you just look, you stick out like sore thumbs. And uh, actually, one of the people just stops the both of you. He is a thin, androgynous looking. Oh, wait, no, no, that's not him. It's. Um, and he was stopped by a. Um, who was he again? Ah, yes, him. A man who, who's got this life, graceful, but still rather sturdy build. He's got uh, reddish. He's got reddish hair. No, 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 my apologies. That was the other one. He's got red eyes and he's got a stern look about him who are you two here who, who are you two he asks I literally grumble at him I grab him by his collar uh, you know, lift him up in the air mm -hmm. and say from take me to your leader right now please <laughs> then I put him back down He frowns at you and says, <clears throat> uh, I am Master Futiyaga, second in command. <sighs> you can talk to me, young lady. <coughs> but of course. And to which Namari is uh, in class. Ah, uh, one moment. Ah, greetings, uh, uh, Terin Sama. I bring uh, I bring you this lady here, whom is a lost egg, and I'm quite certain that uh, uh, yes, a lost egg. Do you feel an ominous drumbeat? Okay, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm taking this guy to my own city. No. Where he will be judged. Uh, I'm sorry. No, the um, uh, the the young man says. You will do no such thing. First, please enlighten me. Uh, we, you, I am Kaf I'm Kafak Terin, and I would like to know who you are. Uh, that is not of importance. What is important is that this man has committed crimes against a certain town. Oh, now that is indeed the, that is indeed uh, a, a terrible charge. Do you have proof? 